In this quick lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the Size Tools tab from the Size, Scale and Rotation drop-down here in the Design Centre. I have this piece of clip art here, which is set to uh, the 0, 0 position on this page, as you can see here, X and Y, 0, 0. And I can adjust its position by setting the measurement here. As you can see, it just positions it from the left and from the top, like so, from this top left-hand corner. And if I go in the other direction, these numbers eventually become negatives, as you can see, like so. And I can, of course, type in an exact measurement if I want to, like that. Or if I position it, it'll just show me its left and top position, as you can see. I can also adjust the width and the height by setting these measurements like so. And you'll notice they're uh, re resizing proportionally. So if I uncheck proportional and then resize these measurements, you can see the width uh, will resize independently of the height and the height independently of the width. And by checking proportional back on and rescaling it to say 50%, you can see that it stays proportionally and rescales to 50%. If I turn that off and then say make it 200%, you'll see it stretch to the right hand side like so. So I can set, I can use proportional um, and scale to change the shape of a particular uh, piece of clip art like so. Now I'll come back and talk about elastic mode in a moment, but before I do that, we'll just talk about these angles here. So if I set this angle here like so, you'll see that as I set the angle, it just resets itself back to zero, but the pure angle remembers what the actual angle that I'd set was, so at the moment it's 15 degrees. If I clear rotations, it sets that back to zero again, and then I can set the pure angle independently of the normal angle, like so. That's how that works. Now as far as uh, skew is concerned, I'll just move this over a little bit and show you. This uh, skew is a one-to-one, -one, so that's like 100% or, for example, 200%. So that's how the pure skew works. I can also mirror the object. I'll show you that here, like so. And I can also rotate it uh, in groups of 90 degrees. So rotate it right by 90 degrees. So that's how those tools work. Now I'll explain to you about elastic mode. Here you can see you've got this square here. Uh, with a border and it's got a one inch radius. Now I'll just show you something here. As I um, stretch this square out you'll see that the one inch radius will remain one inch. Okay, as you can see like that. That's very good to be able to do that, to be able to resize and things like radiuses stay the same that we've set them to. But if I change this to elastic mode it's as if the uh, this shape is on a piece of rubber and it just will resize uh, and stretch as if it was a piece of rubber, as you can see here. So I'll just undo those. So that's what elastic mode does. It basically places the object as if it was a piece of rubber. So I want to show you quickly this tool here. If I turn this on now, you'll note that when I resize this, the actual object will rescale. See, so it's 1.178 inches, like so. So the actual corner radius is rescale with that. And if I drag that out, you'll see they are now 1.363 inches. If I turn it uh, off, it, that will force that 1.363 will remain, as you can see, is like that. So that's how those tools work, the size tools, and the elastic mode, uh, as I've explained, is uh, like in a rubber mode. And that's the end of this lesson. Thank you.